Okay, welcome back to my Majora's Mask speedrunning strategies. Uh, I'm putting this in the advanced folder just because um, I'm not doing the fastest strat, which would be a two-bomb strat using diagonals, but this does go into a, uh, a route for all dungeons that is particularly difficult, um, so that is why it'll be in my advanced um, folder. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter the room and pull a bomb instantaneously. Unless you have chews here. If you have chews, extra chews here, you can use a chew. And it'll work the same for the updraft. Uh, otherwise, you'll use a bomb. You'll go straight back and you'll target the door. You'll backflip, get a recoil flip. Now, what's important is when you're flying through the air here, make sure that your clock... You see this, like, um, the tip of the clock is lined up with this, uh, downward point, uh, pattern in the wall. That's important just because when you get here, you need a specific lineup, because what we're going to do is when we land, we're going to turn around and target the wall. We're going to side hop and pull a chew. And when we get to this frame where there's a left half circle to you, exactly your left side, um... But there's a half circle to your left. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unpause and hold up left and shield. And then you're going to let go. Ooh, I didn't let go soon enough. Another reason why this is a little bit more advanced. But you're going to want to let go right as you see that first wall pass you by on your right side. Uh, as soon as you see you get past that. So you're going to side hop. And you're going to hold up left and shield. I saw the first wall. I let go. And boom. I have updraft fruit. So the chew uh, is not usually a big deal unless you hold well, way too long like I did the first time. Just make sure when you pass by... Um, when you see that you pass by a wall. I don't know if I can describe this. This is the right frame. See this wall right here? When you see this, as long as you let go, you shouldn't have a pro too much of a problem you can adjust if you get caught on the wall. But you want to kind of react to that, not pause buffer, because I let go perfectly. But if you react to that, you should be able to get it without hitting into the bomb chew. Most of the time, he doesn't bother you anyway. But yeah, this is updraft room. Another thing is, if you see yourself going too far, like you're gonna land over here, um, you can time holding back. It'll stop you in midair uh, a little bit sooner. Let me see if I can also demonstrate that. Okay, so. So say I'm, I'm heading, see, I can stop my momentum. Ah, that's going to be hard to demonstrate with this, but basically, you can stop your momentum by holding back. So if you just hold back at the right time, you'll be able to, um, to land in the center, because optimally we're going to want to land right in the center of that area. And when we land here, we're going to do two side hops. And then we're just going to enter the door while pulling fire arrows. And that is updraft room. Uh, it takes a little practice, but it's not too difficult. Um, so give it a try. Uh, if you need, if you have any advice on how to make this video more uh, um, easy to understand, leave it in the comments. Uh, also, you can ask questions in the comments. I'll be sure to reply if I have the answer. Uh, yep, that's it.